side action, and we're just about set to kick off. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Texas will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He's on the run. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. He's into the open field. They go to the left for a nice game. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. Well defended that time. You're right. Great job here by the defender playing the ball, keeping his balance, and getting in the way of that pass. From their own 41 yard line, third down, in the shotgun and five wideouts. He scrambled. And they got him. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. The Longhorns having a wide receiver like this, I think sometimes it even helps a young quarterback because this kid goes out there, he works hard in practice every day, and I think he really lifts the whole offense. I think he does. I think he's almost like having an extension from the coaching staff into the locker room with the players. So he's a guy that makes big plays, but I think he takes it upon himself to be able to help out with some of the other receivers, make sure that they're all on the same page, understand the route adjustments, understand everything that goes on with being a wide receiver and the importance of blocking. So all the little things that seem to add up and make big plays. Uh, and I think this guy totally understands his responsibilities being a go-to player. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. From their own 33-yard line, it's third down. complete and taken down immediately. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. He makes it to the 32-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Makes it out to about the 43. Pitch out, got the corner. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. Throws to the tight end, and that falls incomplete. From the 39-yard line, it's second down. He's at the 30, dumps it complete over the middle. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. Man, 
Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's tackled at the 14. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Gets it. He's in space. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. That's a great tackle at the two-yard line. the PAT. A nine-play, 68-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook try. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The score now, 7-0. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Level at the 26. Looks like they're going to go after this punt. Brought down the 37-yard line. Rice is a team that was supposed to roll over and play dead in this football game, and they're not doing that. I think what we've seen so far is some good execution, but just more of an attitude. They have shown up to play in this game with a confidence and a belief in one another that they're going to pull off an upset today. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Rice. Up seven points. He's scrambling. And they make the stop at right around the 48 yard line. That makes it first and ten. run and he's brought down quick throw out to the receiver incomplete from the 43 yard line it's third down He tries to buy some time. Brought down at the 40. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. 
Rice has got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. He's tackled right around the 28-yard line. Pitches it. He's got the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at the 39. five-yard line. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. The Owls lead 7-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Third and 15 coming up. Ball on the 33 yard line. Red two. Watch the motion. Watch the motion. Watch the motion. He's under some heat. He wants it all. They'll bring him down at about the 19 yard line. What a huge letdown by the defense on a big third down play. And that is just inexcusable. Quick pass, and down he goes at the nine-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. You know, Brad, that's the second third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise being able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap cast. Here's the call. you got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Here's the 11th play of the drive. A short yardage defense here. And he's taken down at the four. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up, and he got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Texas is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Rice is up four. He makes his way to about the 38. That's a game of 13. That makes it first and 10. They give to the tailback. Nice run to the outside. With the carry. Two times, two times. That'll make it second and four. He might have a chance. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Wrestle him down in the backfield. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. From the 44-yard line, second down. Over the middle to his tailback. And he's tackled at the 37th. Strike to his receiver, no good. The ball just sailed on him and he knows it. He'll get it next time. They'll call on the field goal unit. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and it's wide left. No good. Well, sometimes when you see a kick like that, the kicker is trying to compensate for a factor, maybe like the wind, and he thinks he can hook it back in. It didn't happen that time. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. From the 49-yard line, first down. Finds his receiver, and that's a first down. him out at the 29-yard line. Now he's scrambling. They'll make the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 30. He's on the run. He's at the 20. He's taken down at the 15-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. He works the left for a nice game. They get four yards on the halfback option. From the 11-yard line, second down. They bring him down in the backfield. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. Here they come. Just throws this one away. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. 
He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Rice is up one. Here's the halfback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at the 34-yard line. That's good for a game of nine yards. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. They'll get him for a loss. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. Got a man. Watch out here. And they make the stop around the 41-yard line. Number 23 brings him down at the 41-yard line. Third down. He scrambled, and they got him. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. The Longhorns, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He lets it go. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. And he nails the long field goal. The return team looks ready to go. They need to take this one all the way in order to lead at the half. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And now he's got room to run. He's to the 40. Inside the 30. The 10. Touchdown, Rice. converts the extra point. We've played a half. The Owls lead 14-9. to nine. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this, this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses 
dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense prides themselves prides themselves on tackling. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays. And when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in and year out. And, and that's what we're seeing today. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Tackled for a loss. It's second down now and 14 to go. Ball on their own 21. He's out of bounds at the 24-yard line. Quick throw. Taken down at the 41. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch. Going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Has some daylight. He's at midfield. He steps out at the 45. That's good for Tackle after positive yardage. That's going to be a game of yards. That brings him second in the There's a strike complete. Tackle right around the 40. No game on the play. That will make it a game of He's going to try and scramble. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Touchdown, Owls. And really a nice run there by that quarterback. Well, great decision by the quarterback leading the defense. And as soon as he saw the open field, he cut it upfield and scored the touchdown. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They come out in a five-wide set. He might have a chance. Gets out to around the 45. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. 
He'll bring him down right around the 46 yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Slings it. Caught. And down he goes around the 11 yard line. what we saw right there. And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 76-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big run runs. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Man, both offenses here in this third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. Makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. It's complete. Right down. Around the 50. And he's taken down around the 49 yard line. From their own 49-yard line. It's second down. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. It's away. Short punt. That was a nice little pooch kick right there. That's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there. They wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory. This team really trusts their defense. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Another catch, and he's up to 100 yards now. Even when he isn't open, the quarterback will still throw in the ball and just let him make a play. It really shows the trust that the quarterback has with his receiver. On the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled around the 46-yard line. to the receiver incomplete third down and they need to get it down to the 39 
Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled at the 29. Here he goes. Nice run, and he's brought down. And he keeps it on the option play and picks up six. Taken down at about the 11. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Carries the ball for a nice game. And he dives forward. That's the second time that this defense has given up a first down on third down. You work so hard as a defense to get an offense to third down. When you get them there, you've got to be able to have somebody step up and make a big play, whether it's a defensive tackle slipping through a block, a linebacker shooting a gap, a defender in the secondary that's able to make a play on a football. Somebody's got to make a play, and that's where winning, the difference between winning a football game and losing is how you play on third down. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. They're packed in tight on the line. Touchdown, and now they're in front. Well, the offense certainly did their job. They've extended their lead here in the fourth quarter, and now they look at their defensive counterparts and say, hey, guys, it's your turn. Texas, up a point. He's in for the conversion. A 10-play, 80-yard drive, and they come away with eight points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 24-21. He's to the 20, brought down at the 24. Tight ball game, one possession, but they've got an opportunity not only to score and take the lead, but get the momentum going on their side. He's brought down in the open field. He makes his way to about the 48. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And they make the stop at around the 44-yard line. First down. down after a nice run up the middle. Call it again in four yards. Mike three. That makes it seven and six. Quick strike to the back and he drops it. Number 28 was the intended receiver on the third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. At the 28-yard line. That's a deal of 12 on the play. First down. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Check, check out. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. So it's second and 12. 
Ball on the 30-yard line. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down around the 21-yard line. That's good for a Tackle after a decent run up the gut. And we'll take a break while the injured players attended to. First and ten. Ball on the 16. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Less than three minutes in the game. Mike three. Mike three. On the draw, tackled in the backfield. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. Rice to kick. He just drills this one. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. At the very least, they've got to get into field goal range. Once they've done that, they can think about taking a few shots into the end zone. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes at about the 35. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws a laser across the middle. Tackle made around the 43-yard line. Brought down at the 34. He goes over 100 yards in receptions. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. Just under two minutes in the game. Complete. He's got room. And he is drilled at the 25. They'll spread the field with five wide. Pressure coming. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 21. Six, six, second and six. six. Second and six. Ball on the 21. He throws. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. Five wide. the middle got his tight end a huge play and now they're in a great position to score this is the eighth play of this drive straight run and he's brought down in the backfield second down goal to go Ball on the 13-yard line. Again with the run. Makes it to the 12-yard line. So the delayed handoff gets maybe a yard. Here's play number 10 on the drive.
splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10 play, 76 yard drive, and the result, seven points. And with time winding down, they probably won't let this return man feel the ball. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. Nice run there. Rice is going to use their first time out of the half here. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's got it with room to run. He's to the 40, and he hits him hard at the 47-yard line. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. He sails it long. Tipped away. He really came up with a save by getting a hand on the ball. That had big play written all over it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. For all of you watching, it's been a great game, and it has a chance to be even greater. Will the prayer be answered? It's time for the Hail Mary, and this one's going to get intercepted. Brad Nestler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.